Have you ever wondered about the life of His Holiness Pope Shenouda III? Pope Shenouda was born in Abnob, Egypt on August 3, 1923. Pope Shenouda was the youngest of eight children. His parents died when he was at a very young age, which means that he was raised by his siblings. He moved around Egypt for most of his childhood, but eventually settled in Cairo. Later on in 1943, Pope Shenouda completed an arts degree in English and history. Pope Shenouda would always spend his summer vacation at the Monastery of St. Mary. Later on in Pope Shenouda's life, he joined the Sorian Monastery and a year later he was ordained a priest, being given the name Father Antonius. But later he was appointed the personal secretary to Pope Grolos VI. Three years later, Abuna Antonius was ordained Bishop Shenouda, the first bishop for Christian education and later he became the president and the dean of the Theological Seminary. During Pope Shenouda's time as the president of the Theological Seminary, he allowed women to attend the college. He was recognized for his efforts when he was elected president of the Association of the Middle East Theological Colleges. On March 9, 1987, His Holiness Pope Carlos VI departed in peace. The Holy Synod met together to plan for the next Pope, and Pope Shenouda was a great fit for the title of Pope for the Coptic Orthodox Church, and he was enthroned as the 117th Pope of Alexandria. During his papacy, he ordained 52 bishops and more than 250 priests. Pope Shenouda made hymns like A Stranger and God's Love in Your Life. He also wrote books such as Comparative Theology, Words of Spiritual Benefit, in the life of thanksgiving, and over 50 more books. One of his very well-known quotes is, In the hardest times I laugh and not let the hard situation overwhelm me. One of the biggest impactful deeds Pope Shenouda did was he expanded the Coptic Orthodox Church outside of Egypt. This led to more diverse people of all ages joining the Coptic Orthodox community. In conclusion, Pope Shenouda was one of the most inspirational popes that have ever lived. Before His Holiness passed away, he traveled to church spreading his blessing across the world. The people loved him and were inspired by him. He was also a humble and a very holy man. He will forever be remembered in the history of the church for arguably being one of the popes that has made a difference in our church.